Gone are the days when mobile gaming meant worse gaming. Mobile games are improving very, very fast, and their graphics are now comparable to PC games even. So today on Down to Top, we're bringing you 10 high graphics Android and iOS games just for you. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great gaming content like this. But before going ahead, let me introduce today's sponsor, 7 Mortal Sins Ecstasy. This is a Japanese anime-style turn-based RPG game where the game is set around Lucifer, the fallen angel who was sent to hell for crimes against God. The game runs on a turn-based attack strategy and gives you the ultimate freedom to understand your characters and build a custom fighting style. The game only has female characters and each possesses special skills. Also, there are many interesting characters to choose from, allowing you to expand your friendships with the characters while also experiencing exciting events. Along with that, the game also has a beautiful cartoon film storyline where the characters are voiced by original actors in the movie to provide a dual experience of playing the game and and watching the anime simultaneously. Also, each character has its gorgeous live 2D animation, which brings you visual enjoyment while playing. In addition, there are various ways to strengthen your character. You can use level training, rank up, transcend, or skill up for basic character upgrades. Also, there is a mysterious system called the Karma System. Plus, you can also participate in arena battle, and also you can create your own guild or join others. Overall, I really like this game, especially the characters and the storyline. So what are you waiting for? Support our channel and pre-register 7 Mortal Sins Ecstasy for free using my link in the description below. At number 10, Gangpire Fire and Fury. <laughs> At first glance, you might think this is a game that's much like GTA, with a three-person squad shooting up the levels, but it's actually not like that. Gangpire Fire and Fury is basically a strategy management game, but the character and graphics are GTA-themed. So for anyone who has ever played a game that's like building a city, building an army, sending soldiers out to fight, that's it, basically the same line. Oh, and then there's a mix of RPG playing as well because it also includes dynamic street fights where you confront various enemies. Overall, we're starting off with a very strong game today. I'm sure you're not going to be bored with this one. Number 9, Darkbind. This one's an ARPG in which the company NetEase takes you to a universe full of supernatural creatures and enemies that you'll have to face. In order to save humanity from the most profound devastation, you'll have to go through the different zones in which the map is divided to take advantage of the qualities of your warrior. Darkbind's gameplay is inspired by the Dark Souls saga and throughout your adventure, you have to improve the attributes and qualities of the protagonist to be stronger in the real-time PvP battles you take part in. Number 8. Furious Heat Racing This one's a J racing game with simulation elements as well as detailed graphics comparable to great mobile racing games. The game follows a decent storyline where the player participates in the Heat Showdown, an organized racing event held on the streets and surrounding countryside of Night City. The game features five different modes like street racing, cop smash, drag racing, and a few more. Overall, it's a great game that's under 150 megabytes and offers good graphics and decent controls. Plus, the game can be playable in offline mode, which is always a bonus. Number 7. Survival Fire Battlegrounds I'm not gonna mince words, this one is a direct ripoff of PUBG, where you can play by yourself without needing an internet connection against bots. But that being said, there's no doubt the game features good graphics plus the player animation is awesome. Before beginning the game, you can also choose between three difficulty levels to adjust how challenging it'll be when you land on the island. In addition, the gameplay mechanism is very similar to PUBG, even though the textures are purely copied from PUBG. All in all, I gotta say it's a good ripoff as compared to other ripoffs, plus it's offline. Number 6. Phobies Open your eyes. 
So come see what's inside. You've been ready for a while. Oh, you lied. It was a guy. Phobies is a PC ported game and one of the best tactical strategy games that I've played in a long time. It's basically a mix between a card game and the game of chess. In the game, players battle one another in the surreal realm of the subconscious where fears manifest, and there are over 100 phobies to unlock. The gameplay is also quite unique as no two matches will be the same. Real-time fights with other users are possible in the arena battle mode, while battles will take place in the async battle mode. Overall, it's a fun concept that's very well executed. Number 5. Sport Car 3 – Taxi and Police This one's a dynamic and exciting car simulator with excellent graphics in which the player can get an interesting driving experience. As the player, you'll have the opportunity to test yourself in various tasks, ranging from cargo transportation to racing and parking. You will have to drive cars of different classes, with each car being subjected to tuning and personalized settings, up to changing the headlights and dashboard. In addition to single-player missions, you can also take part in online competitions in local multiplayer with other gamers. Overall, it's a great game, especially if you like simulation games. Number 4. Selma and the Wisp This one's an astonishing platform game with a particularly eerie feel to it. In the game, you play as a ball of light that leads a little girl through several levels of dangerous situations in a nightmare world. It's akin to platforming by dragging someone tied to you by a rope and hoping they make it all the way through the pitfalls. Now I know this could be good and bad, but overall it's a fast playthrough, plus art direction with polygons has a good presentation, so if you feel like giving it a go, you definitely should. Number 3. Force of Warships Battleship This one's a naval combat game where you have to wage exciting battles at the helm of a warship. With good 3D graphics, you navigate the seas in search of enemies. Fire all the missiles at your disposal to eliminate your naval rival. In the game, you are the commander of the ship and your goal is to team up and destroy opponent navy ships. The game includes a wide range of weapons, including machine guns, missiles, and many more. All in all, it's a good game with some smooth controls. Number 2. Rise of Demons This is a fast-paced, first-person action shooting game. At first glance, the gameplay style is completely similar to the playing style of Doom Reboot on PC, with a fast-paced action style and fast-paced running and shooting. Much like the Doom series, this one benefits from a kick-ass soundtrack and copious amounts of gore. In addition, the levels are generally a joy to explore, the guns still pack a bunch, and they're both surprisingly well suited to being played in short bursts when out and about. The game also possesses beautifully realistic 3D graphics along with a relatively easy to control mechanism. And finally our number one game, Just Cause Mobile. An action shooter, right now this game is available in early access in selected countries, so if you reside in Singapore, Malaysia, the Philippines, or Thailand, then you can play it. Otherwise, you can always get around it with a VPN. Talking about the game, it has pretty good gameplay, good looking maps with good detail, plenty of stuff that can be blown up, and in general, a decent potential for mayhem. The game follows a decent story that slides its way into the gameplay with cool cutscenes as part of the campaign, while the multiplayer action is what you would expect. The only issue so far is perspective and gamers have been a little bit disappointed in this department. So there you have it, the 10 best high graphic games of the month. This has been Sam from Down to Top and it's been a pleasure. As per usual, I keep you up to date on all the best mobile games as they are released. So subscribe for more awesome content and I'll see you next time. And